The enormous detonation is an idea that has outlined how we could unravel the universe, illustrating the support of current cosmology as per Einstein's hypothesis. Also, what is known as coarse perusing cosmology, the huge explosion, was the moment the universe began its expansion, meaning the creation of all matter, energy, and existence. This event occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago and led to the massive universe we observe today. However, recent advancements in cosmology suggest that the huge explosion probably wasn't the absolute beginning. Rather, there could have been a stage before the giant blast that was also crucial in shaping the universe. This pre-period is known as inflationary expansion. Inflation is one of the most fascinating aspects of modern cosmology. It suggests that before the hot, dense era of the enormous detonation, the universe underwent an incredibly rapid and remarkable expansion. During this period, the universe was increasing in size at an astonishing rate. To describe how extreme this expansion was, if the universe started smaller than a particle, it would have expanded to become immensely larger than the entire observable universe within a fraction of a second, around one quadrillionth of a second. This phase of expansion did not last long, but it played a fundamental role in shaping the universe. When the inflationary phase ended, the energy driving this expansion was released into space, heating it up and creating the particles of matter that make up everything we observe in the universe. In many ways, inflation is the precursor to what we think of as the enormous detonation. While the theory of inflation is widely accepted in cosmology today, many unanswered questions remain. For example, we still do not understand what initiated inflation, what caused it to stop, or how long it lasted. These are open questions in cosmology, and answering them is crucial for a deeper understanding of the origins of the universe. Before inflation, the universe was an extraordinarily dense, tiny point of matter, often referred to as a singularity. From this singularity, Inflation began and eventually led to the formation of atoms, particles, stars, and galaxies. The concept of the huge explosion as the beginning of everything is compelling, but modern cosmology suggests a more complex picture. Some theories propose that the universe went through a pre-Big Bang stage. During this stage, inflation caused the universe to expand at an astonishing rate, increasing in size by a staggering factor within a trillionth of a second. This rapid expansion was fueled by a peculiar form of energy that filled empty space. When inflation ended, the energy that had driven this expansion was converted into particles, heating the universe and leading to the hot, dense state we call the enormous detonation. This inflationary stage was cold and empty, yet it set the stage for the creation of matter and the universe as we see it today. One of the more speculative ideas in modern cosmology is the concept of eternal inflation. This theory suggests that inflation did not stop all at once. Instead, it halted in patches, creating distinct pockets, each of which could be a universe in its own right. Our universe would be just one of these patches. According to eternal inflation, there could be an infinite number of these universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. This is where the multiverse hypothesis comes into play, the idea that our universe might be just one of many or even an infinite number of universes. If this idea is true, it could explain why our universe is so finely tuned for life. In this multiverse scenario, every possible combination of physical laws could exist in different universes. We just happen to live in one where conditions are perfect for stars to form and for carbon, oxygen, and other essential elements to exist. While theories like eternal inflation and the multiverse remain speculative, the idea of inflation itself is backed by observational evidence. The strongest support for inflation comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, the oldest light in the universe. The CMB was released nearly 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe cooled enough for atoms to form. At that point, the universe became transparent, and this light has been traveling through space ever since. By studying the CMB, cosmologists can essentially take a baby picture of the universe. 
This light provides clues about the universe's earliest days, helping scientists understand what happened shortly after the huge explosion and supporting the inflationary model. One of the most significant discoveries came from the European Space Agency's Planck satellite, which captured detailed images of the CMB. These images revealed subtle variations in the temperature of the early universe, which match predictions made by inflationary theory. This experimental evidence strengthens the idea that inflation is not just a theoretical model, but an essential part of how we understand the origins of the universe. Understanding the enormous detonation and what happened before it requires combining two of the most important theories in modern physics, Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum theory. General relativity describes the large-scale structure of the universe, including the behavior of galaxies, stars, and planets. Quantum theory describes the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. To address fundamental questions in cosmology, such as what the universe is made of and where it came from, scientists need to develop a theory that unifies these two frameworks. Such a theory would allow us to understand not only the Big Bang, but also the conditions that led to it. One of the most astonishing aspects of the universe is its size. The most distant objects we can observe are about 47 billion light years away, meaning the observable universe is approximately 94 billion light years across. This may seem strange, given that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. How could the observable universe be larger than the time it would take light to travel across it? The answer lies in the fact that the universe has been expanding over time. As it expands, the distance between objects increases, making distant objects farther away than the time it would take light to reach us. Most scientists believe that the universe extends far beyond the observable universe. In fact, it is possible that the entire universe is infinite in size. The observable universe is simply the part we can see limited by how long light has had to travel since the enormous detonation. There may be vast regions of the universe that we will never be able to observe. While it's possible that the universe is infinite, the question remains, is there anything beyond the universe? Most scientists are skeptical about this idea. If the universe is infinite, there would be no outside to it. It would simply continue forever. Even if the universe is finite, it may not make sense to talk about anything beyond it. Beyond would imply something outside of space, but space itself is a property of the universe. Just as the beginning of the universe is a subject of intense study, so is its possible end. The best current estimate is that the universe will continue expanding forever. This is due to a mysterious phenomenon known as dark energy, which is causing. This is due to a mysterious phenomenon known as dark energy which is causing the universe's expansion to accelerate. Dark energy is one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in physics. It appears to make up about 68% of the universe, yet we have very little understanding of its nature. Unlike gravity, which pulls objects together, dark energy acts as a repulsive force, pushing galaxies apart at an ever-increasing rate. There are several theories about the fate of the universe, depending on how dark energy behaves over time. 1. The Big Freeze, Eternal Expansion If dark energy remains constant, the universe will continue expanding forever. Over billions of years, galaxies will drift so far apart that stars will burn out, and the universe will become a cold, dark, and empty place. 2. The Big Rip If dark energy becomes stronger over time, it could eventually overcome all forces including gravity. This would lead to a scenario where galaxies, stars, planets, and even atoms are torn apart in a catastrophic event known as the Big Rip. 3. The Big Crunch If dark energy weakens or reverses, gravity could take over again, causing the universe to collapse back in on itself. Prior to the discovery of dark energy, researchers believed that the universe's expansion would eventually slow down due to the gravitational pull of matter. There was even a possibility that the universe could stop expanding and start contracting, leading to a big crunch. However, dark energy seems to be pushing the universe apart more rapidly. If this acceleration continues, the universe will keep expanding indefinitely, 
ultimately reaching a state where galaxies are so far apart that they become disconnected from each other. In this scenario, the universe would become cold, dark, and empty. Stars would burn out, galaxies would drift apart, and matter would eventually decay. This is sometimes called the Big Freeze or the heat death of the universe. The story of the universe, from the Big Bang to its possible end, is one of the most significant and complex narratives in science. While we have learned a great deal about the origins of the universe through the theory of inflation and the study of the cosmic microwave background, many questions remain unanswered. What caused inflation to begin and end? What lies beyond the observable universe? Is there a multiverse? And if so, how many other universes exist? As researchers continue to study the universe using advanced technology and theories that unify quantum mechanics with general relativity, we will undoubtedly gain deeper insights into these mysteries. The journey to understand the universe is ongoing, and each discovery brings us one step closer to answering the ultimate questions about our existence. The study of the universe's origins and structure is not just a scientific endeavor. It also raises philosophical questions about existence, reality, and our place in the cosmos. One major area of interest in cosmology is the nature of dark matter, which is believed to make up approximately 27% of the universe's mass energy content. Unlike normal matter, dark matter does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter. Understanding dark matter is crucial for explaining the formation and behavior of galaxies. Ongoing studies and observations have provided insights into dark matter's properties, but its exact nature remains elusive. Several candidates have been proposed, including weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, axions, and other exotic particles. However, no direct evidence of dark matter particles has been found so far. The search continues through a combination of terrestrial experiments, astrophysical observations, and simulations that model how dark matter influences the large-scale structure of the universe. Another key area of research is dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark energy makes up around 68% of the universe's total mass energy content. Its discovery was unexpected and has led to numerous theories, including the cosmological constant and dynamic fields. Understanding dark energy is crucial, as it will determine the ultimate fate of the universe. Researchers are studying its effects on cosmic structures and trying to determine whether it remains constant over time or evolves. In addition to dark matter and dark energy, the study of large-scale structure formation provides valuable insights into the universe's history. Observations of the Cosmic Web, a vast network of galaxies, clusters, and filaments, have revealed how matter has accumulated under the influence of gravity, leading to the complex structures we see today. Simulations run on supercomputers help scientists understand how these structures formed over billions of years and continue to evolve. Astrobiology also intersects with cosmology, as researchers seek to understand the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. The search for exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has intensified with thousands discovered in recent years. Some of these exoplanets lie in their star's habitable zone, where conditions might be suitable for liquid water to exist. By studying these distant worlds, Scientists hope to learn more about the potential for life elsewhere in the universe and the factors that make a planet hospitable to life. Finally, the role of fundamental physics in cosmology cannot be overstated. The quest for a unified theory that combines general relativity and quantum mechanics continues to challenge physicists. Theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity aim to bridge these two realms, offering explanations for phenomena such as black holes and the early universe. As technology advances, so does our ability to observe and interpret cosmic phenomena. Space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are revolutionizing our understanding of the universe, providing unprecedented detail on distant galaxies and cosmic events. With each new observation, we come closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe's evolution, development, and ultimate fate.
The exploration of the universe is a rich tapestry of scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection. From the fundamental forces shaping cosmic structures to the search for extraterrestrial life, our exploration is a testament to humanity's enduring curiosity about the cosmos. As we strive to answer these profound questions, we gain a deeper appreciation for the vastness and complexity of the universe.